Hi, I'm Cindy, and welcome to Multi Project Planner 100 Pro. A digital planner that's designed to be intuitive and empower you and your team to stay on top of your projects. Are you ready? Let's jump right in. Let's start with the home sheet. This serves as your navigation hub, making it easy to move around your planner. Simply click the button for the sheet you want to jump to. I've clicked on the manage sheet. On this sheet, let's create focus areas, initiatives, and projects. My first focus area will be called home flip. I'll list a few initiatives such as main floor, second floor, and backyard. Next, I'll assign my kitchen project to home flip and main floor. I'll do the same for the living room project. For the pool project, I'll assign it to the backyard initiative. As you can see, we're keeping our projects organized. Now, let's set some target, start and end dates for each project. In the navigation bar, let's click on the timeline button. This brings us to the timeline sheet, where we can see the start and end dates for each project. The kitchen and living room projects are set to start in April. So let's jump to that month by clicking the little April button in the calendar. To modify project timeline bar colors, click on any project name in the list to return to the manage sheet. Select a color from the timeline color drop down list for any of your projects. Let's return to the manage sheet. Each project is marked with an orange arrow button in the link column. Click the button next to Kitchen to access the Kitchen Project Sheet. It's time to enter our first task. I'll call it Demo, since the first thing we'll want to do is demolish the kitchen. I'll select a status and priority for this task. For bucket, I'll leave this set to backlog and explain what this means later in the video. I'll enter a target start and end date for this specific task. Now, let's assign this task to someone by selecting a name from the list. To add your team members' names, go to the settings sheet and fill in the team list with their real names. Let's input the budget and actual cost for this task. The progress column lets you input the completion percentage of each task with automatic color coding. You have the option to include a label and a note for each task. Labels appear on the Kanban board, which we'll look at in just a minute. All right, we've successfully listed our first task. Let's add a second. Let's take a first look at the overview sheet by clicking the overview button in the navigation bar. Select the focus area, initiative and project name that you're interested in from the drop-down lists. The dashboard will automatically refresh and display details about the project and focus area you selected. You can click the arrow button up top to jump to the selected project sheet. Notice how the dashboard automatically updates after I update tasks on the project sheet. 
It's time to check out the status board sheet. Let's select the kitchen project from the project drop-down list. Notice how my two completed tasks appear under the completed column. If I change a task status from the project sheet, it'll automatically move on the status board. The bucket board sheet works in a similar fashion. The main difference here is that you get to create your own groups, also known as buckets. In this example, I'll use buckets as a way to break my tasks down into phases. I'll create three buckets called design, prep, and electrical. Remember the bucket column on the project sheet? We can now select the appropriate bucket names from the list. And just like that, our tasks appear within the correct buckets on our bucket board. We can filter tasks by team member. When you select a name from the team member list, the board automatically displays tasks assigned to that specific team member. Leaving this set to all will display tasks for everyone in the team. Let's hop on over to the whiteboard sheet. This sheet provides space for you to draw shapes and diagrams using Excel's built-in functions. We can easily insert shapes, connect them together with arrows, and change their colors. Notice how shapes remain connected when linked using an arrow. Under the Draw Ribbon tab, we have access to freehand drawing tools as well. Let's take a look at the Settings sheet. You can customize the text for any of the default statuses or priority levels. In this example, I'll change the completed status to Done and the P1 priority level to High. If I head over to a project sheet, we can see that the new status and priority type appear instantly. Next, we've provided various preference options to maximize your freedom while using the Kanban boards. For example, you can decide if you want to see completed tasks on your bucket board. You also have access to some general preference options. For instance, the timeline starting year allows you to specify the starting year for the timeline. The timeline always displays the selected year along with the subsequent year. Lastly, make sure to check out the help sheet, where you'll find quick access links to our website, Etsy messages, and feedback options. You can verify your planner's version number under the About section as well. And that's Multi-Project Planner 100 Pro. To learn more about your new planner, subscribe to the Bobcat Planners YouTube channel. You can also visit us at bobcatplanners.com. Thanks for watching.